Hey guys, Ray from LoveYourRV.com and it looks like Christmas has come a bit early for us here. It's December 22nd and I got a pack load of stuff to look at. A um, couple things um, purchased ourselves and there's two things that were sent out by companies for me to review. I'm usually a little bit picky about what I pick for uh, things to review where I'm getting them for free. They have to be pretty high quality and I think these two items are. So uh, I got this water filtration system um, by a company called, what are they called, Clear, Clear Source. I'm not ready to review that one yet. I um, also bought myself this Instapot. I've been looking at this one for a while. I do all the cooking in our uh, RV family so really interested in that. It's a pressure cooker but also does a lot of other things. Very popular in the RV uh, realm. And this one, I've been licking my chops for this one for a while. This is an air compressor for uh, the RV. Um, last year a buddy of mine showed me his brand new one ever since I've wanted one. And uh, Anne got this one for me for Christmas. It's so heavy though and big she couldn't really hide it in the RV so I got it given to me a little a little bit early so yeah I'll be reviewing that one but today what I'm gonna do is look at this this thing called a ladder gadget it's a, a piece that goes on your ladder um, so you can hold uh, things on the back like clothes and and whatnot so let me unbox that and give you a look at that Okay, got her out of the box. Got an instruction manual, a little bag of hardware, and here's the ladder gadget itself. So, it looks to be made out of pretty heavy duty aluminum, really nice and thick. Wow, that thing's like built to NASA standards. Holy crap. Okay, so first thing I got to do is mount it on the ladder there the mounting kit and we'll see how it works. So far I like it. Well I got it partially mounted. I just put it in the top U-clamp they give you there. Sorry about the noise. Uh, we're right next to a highway here and also if you hear a sizzling that's the, the fountain in this pond at this RV park. Anyway for the bottom clamp same deal they have a little uh, U-clamp that goes on using an Allen wrench, that should they included with it. And then there's a little uh, safety catch once you want to put that on the bottom uh, clamp here. So let me do that. I'll just put that on the bottom and then we'll see how this thing works. There we go. So that fits really tight. I really snug on that. sits right next to the ladder there out of the way so you can get up and down the ladder. So we just kind of lift up on this thing. Let's see if it can, there's a spot where it opens like that. Slides back and then you just put in this little safety just so it doesn't fall onto someone's head if it comes loose. There we go pretty good. So ideally you want this so you can walk under it. Right now if you see the way the rig's parked I'm in a spot where um, the bumper is basically on the ground because the, the ground comes up so far so I'll have to figure out where that is but uh, looks good. Definitely strong enough. Says it can hold up to 20 pounds on that thing. Cool. And for uh, putting back for travel, pull it out, drop it down. I guess it locks in place here. There's a bit of motion there. I don't really like that. I'll we'll have to maybe put a, a strap down here or something to hold it tight. I don't think I want that thing rattling around, especially when I go down a gravel road. But yeah, that's pretty skookum. It 
super well made. This thick aluminum is going to outlast my rig. <laughs> I think I'll be uh, junk in the, the fifth wheel before this thing wears out. I'll be taking it to the next RV. Cool. Well, let's see what we can hang on this thing. Give her a try. There's my first two uh, used cases. Somewhere to lash the beagle to so she doesn't get wound up under the rig. And a little place for the hummingbird feeder. What do you think, beagle? What do you think? I like it. Just let you take a look at the travel position here. Have it set down. I added some of this uh, Velcro wrap here. Put some down there and some at the bottom. Now that's solid. Not getting any slop out of it. So I just didn't like how much it slopped. Looks pretty good. Hardly know what's even there. So we'll just take a quick look at their website here laddergadget.com and I can see here they're coming to the Midway at the Quartzsite Sports Vacation and RV Show Jan 20 to 28 so if you're at Quartzsite you can go check it out right down at the show let's just go look at their gallery of uses some of the things people are using it for hanging clothes fishing gear banners and flags there's hummingbird feeder chimes dartboard, wind things, all kinds of things. Okay, and what's the price? Bam! 139 I think that's probably the only negative I have to say about the product is it's pretty expensive. I guess aluminum is, is pretty uh, pricey. Um, they also use stainless steel hardware, so I can't say it's not really well built, but uh, that may be a, a deal breaker for some people, that price. Aren't you pretty? Well, good. it looks like the ladder gadget is hummingbird approved. Got a little visitor here. I was also thinking another uh, application for this would be back home in the summer. We don't have hummingbirds where we where we uh, put the RV, but we have lots of birds. So I might set it up so I can put a bird feeder up in the window here using the the arm there. That would be a good idea. I always like watching the birds. Till next time, Ray from loveyourv.com. Happy trails, folks.